In this video, we will be looking at one of the most common question asked in interviews about the calculation of depth of FIFO required for clock domain crossing. So let's get started. Let's say we have two modules A and B. Module A is operating with clock of frequency FA and B is operating at FB. Module A needs to transmit some data to module B. This situation now becomes a problem of clock domain crossing. As we need to cross the data from clock domain A to another clock domain B without any loss of data. Now with respect to clocks A and B, we can have following situations. Frequency of A is less than frequency of B. This means that the reading of data by the receiver is done at a rate faster than writing. Here, there is a possibility that data changes near the edge of clock B, which can cause timing errors and hence can lead to metastability. So we can use synchronizers to prevent that from happening. We can install synchronizer here between A and B, connecting them and the whole situation will look something like this. Now considering the second case where frequency of clock A is equal to frequency of clock B. Here we can further have two possibilities. The clocks can be in phase or not in phase with each other. Clocks in phase will be same as if the two modules are working in same clock domain. So simply data from A can be fed to B and nothing is required. If you make this situation as 1 and this as 2, for 1 nothing is required because they are in same clock domain. But when clocks are not in phase, there is a possibility of timing error. So we will need synchronizers to make sure that module B doesn't have metastability. Now let's look at the third case when frequency of clock A is greater than frequency of clock B. Now the transmitter module is faster than the module B. This means that we are able to read slowly compared to writing. As we are reading slowly, we will lose data. To prevent losing data, we employ a FIFO buffer. FIFO stands for first in first out and it's a buffer with the property that output from buffer is taken in the same order as input is stored into it. Now a question arises that what is the minimum size or depth of the FIFO for the system to function properly. I can rephrase it as what minimum amount of data should FIFO be able to store so that no data is lost. Notice the fact that you can't have a continuous data being transmitted, else you would need an infinite sized FIFO. What generally happens in a real system is that data is transmitted in bursts. This means that a given amount of data is transmitted at a time and then it remains idle between bursts. This known amount of data in a burst is called as burst size. Now that you know the basics, let's actually calculate the depth using an example. Let's consider a system where module A is working at 200 MHz and module B is working at 20 MHz and we need to calculate the depth of the FIFO required for proper transmission if burst size is given to be 100. The only logic required to calculate the size is to store the data which has been transmitted by A but the receiver B has not read it yet. Therefore for the above case, time period of A is equal to 1 upon 200 megahertz which is equal to 5 nanoseconds. It's a time taken to write one data. Time period of B which is time to read one data is equal to 1 upon 20 megahertz which is equal to 50 nanoseconds. Now the time taken to write the burst of data which is 100 data is equal to burst size into time period of A which is 100 into 5, 500 nanoseconds. In this 500 nanoseconds, B was able to read total time divided by time to read one data, which is 500 by 50 equal to 10. So here we see that in the time 100 data bits were transmitted from A, 10 data bits were readed. So we must store the remaining data, which is equal to 100 minus 10, which is equal to 90. That's the minimum size of FIFO required for proper operation of this system. We can use same logic to calculate for any similar kind of question. Sometimes few idle cycles are also to be considered. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रिसीवर में रीड ओनली वन डेटा इन थ्री क्लॉक साइकल्स सो वी हैव टू कंसिडर दैट डिले इन अवर कैलकुलेशन बाई इंक्रीजिंग द टाइम टू रीड वन डेटा प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू क्रिएट मोर सच वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड शेयर यूर एक्सपीरियंस इन कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो